you know a lot of people look at the andro peak the you know the marketing material and they basically look at 8 weeks because that's the clinical study duration for andro peak is 8 weeks but a lot of them ask uh, us how long should one use andro peak for you know what is the optimum time and does it have any withdrawals if i go beyond 8 weeks that means if i continue using andro peak for 8 weeks and then suddenly i stop is there anything that could possibly affect this is a normal fear that we have yeah. and the fear is actually perpetrated by a lot of other people also right uh, maybe some so called experts and uh, unfortunately sometimes even medical doctors right. will, will will sort of give you this feeling that if you are taking anything from outside and because of which you are boosting your testosterone then beyond a certain uh, period of time the body will just forget to make testosterone Right. Then you will need it for life. Addictive. And it's not addictive. It's like you need it. Need for it. Life. Right. Uh, and you will need to buy. So this is this is ridiculous. That is not how it happens. First of all, if you've got low testosterone levels at the age of twenty, don't expect them to suddenly normalize at the age of forty. Hmm. Right. So okay. So you're going to be having low testosterone all throughout. Yeah. So the point is, either you correct it uh, through exogenous testosterone, which has got its own complications. and then things can get really uncomfortable if you're taking testosterone therapy right which a lot of people do but then you must understand that when you're taking it exogenously the body will tend to never really recover and get its own rhythm or hormonal balance again right and then you're always going to want to be super physiological right and uh, maintain that level and, and the problem with this is that even after these uh, post cycle therapies that tend to work towards lower lowering estrogen levels that are elevated through exogenous testosterone right there's no real guarantee that you'll get your hormonal balance again hmm. why is that so in, in what sense because the hormonal balance is very very delicate right uh, the, we still haven't gotten a hold of why people's testosterone levels go down, down. Right. there are multiple factors yeah, essentially multiple right multiple factors and they're all working theories right okay what we can say for sure is that the multitude number of people out there very rarely is somebody in the top quarter of normal testosterone mm. Mm. so obviously it is affected due to the kind of life we lead right and uh, a lot of logic points to the fact that the biggest problem mm. is the kind of nutrition that we have yes again a preponderance of sugar mm. is what causes the problem in the first place right again it could be argued about so let's leave it at the point that pertaining to this question hmm. we find a large majority of males hmm. in various age groups right not meeting the criteria for normal testosterone, testosterone. which is the top quarter of the range hmm. and having said that are we going to correct it or are we not going to correct it right. as i said when you take exogenous testosterone it's a very tricky situation even after a post cycle post cycle means that normally a person will decide to take exogenous testosterone over a period of Six weeks or twelve weeks, right. and then they want to get off it. Yes. When you get off it, and you don't follow that post therapy uh, protocols, right. which people yes probably <laughs> call as PCT, uh, basically because you're taking it over three months and then afterwards taking a break. That's why they call the cycles. Okay. So post cycle therapy for that. Right. Even if you were to do a proper post cycle therapy, there's no guarantee that you'll return back to. absolute mm. normal mm. so a fear that people should have when getting on to exogenous testosterone is the fact that the most well planned post cycle therapies may not get them back to normal right so from super physiological you suddenly it's going back that you're mm. going regressing uh, almost yeah. right going pathologically low after that right and that's been seen in many cases right So, so people tend to uh, kind of correlate that with Andrew Peake and saying that okay, fine. Does eight weeks constitute a cycle after which I have to stop, or yes, do I continue? Yes, you must understand that it's not exogenous testosterone that you're taking. Right. You are taking a a basically a fetal nutrient, a fetal chemical you're taking that basically mimics the action of uh, certain things in the body that regulate testosterone. Right. Okay. Uh, it may. Take the shape of something that mimics the aromatase enzyme, yes. or inhibits the aromatase. Sorry, not mimicking the aromatase enzyme, but inhibits, inhibits. The, aromatase, inhibits yes. the aromatase enzyme. Right. It could basically mimic the molecular structure. Could look very much like a, an androgen. Yes. And hence, 
will have affinity to the sex hormone binding globulin sit on it yes. and thus not allow the testosterone to bind to sex hormone binding globulin thus increasing the, the free testosterone. Of free testosterone. Right. So uh, this is, I mean I wouldn't say fairly safe but it's safe. For long term consumption. Yeah, you're basically taking a plant extract right. and you're not affecting your uh, hormonal balance in any way. Right. You're just seeing to it that whatever is affecting your hormonal balance right now, keeping you in the negative, hmm. is normalizing you. Right. Can you take it round, round the year? Yes, of course you can take it round the year. Right. Right. As a part of your regular supplementation stack, yeah. essentially. And what's going to happen if you stop? That's another fear. So if I'm taking this particular product, what will happen if I stop? What hmm. if I don't have the money for this product in a particular month? Right. Or, uh, so everybody has a budget. Right. So when you tell people you have to take it year round, you don't have to take it year round. If you take it year round, so much the better. Right. Now what's going to happen when they discontinue? Hmm. What's going to happen is that they're going to revert back hmm. to the testosterone levels. Exactly. Right. right.